What's up everybody, Remington from Impulse Creative. And today we're gonna to talk about drift landing pages versus drift links. And we're gonna go deep into both of these options to figure out which ones are the best for you depending on certain criteria. So as we jump in and we're talking about Drift's new feature of Drift landing pages, there's a couple of things to consider. Now, I just did a speaking gig on conversational marketing, and one of the things that I talked very heavily about was landing pages and Drift. And then come to find out now they've got this new tool, and what's amazing is it is going to enable people to have a much more custom experience when just trying to drive someone to a chatbot flow, and there's a variety of different reasons. First one that works great is I could see this working really well in a paid ads scenario. So I did another video, which you can see right here, on how to make a Drift link automatically pop up for a Facebook ad. But when we start thinking about how Drift landing pages could help is you've got that opportunity for a separate URL, a slightly larger UI for the chat flow, and it replicates a lot, especially on mobile, as if you're having a text message with a company. The cool thing about that is it allows for us to really dig in and cater the person through a certain flow. You can use you know, conditional elements on the page to create different messages depending on what they're saying. And in addition to that, the one big problem that you have to pay attention to is they need to understand where the light is at the end of the tunnel. And what I mean by that is in a form, it's very easy to say, here are the five things we need out of you. I talk about it as social currency. When you have a drift landing page, it's not going to show an end in sight. It's going to start out and have a really great opportunity for a conversation, but you've got to make sure that in your question flow, you're letting them know how many more questions you've got. So the other thing versus the drift links is you may want to have some extra explanation around why they're why they're reaching out. So in a lot of cases, specifically to that to that Facebook ad type um, conversion, a video would be really great with that on the actual ad that leads right into a form, and this can be a great alternative to a lead a lead form or a lead ad. Now, when we start thinking about on in emails and other things like that. Now what we're doing is we're able to engage your visitors. Obviously we're telling them information in a specific email and we're driving them to one of these landing pages. But one of my favorite features that Drift did is they didn't make you have to choose. So you can have this conversational flow planned out and you have the option to send someone to a Drift link when it's better maybe on a page with more explanation, or they have the option to actually go through in the Drift landing page. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So what we have here is I have just created a new chat bot playbook. And what, what we've done is I've just named it landing page bot. You see, we've got our questions that are here. Many of these questions are just default in the template for the sake of this tutorial. And you'll notice that we've got some extra targeting items off to the left. So you've got your drift link that normally hangs out and you can see that you've got this, you know, you've got the opportunity for that drift link. And now there's an option for landing pages. So landing pages allows for you to go in and you can set the URL. And so you can choose this URL to be whatever you want. And you've got to make sure that you've set up the individual um, domain first, which you can do in settings. And there's a handy link right here to go straight there. But as we scroll down, we'll also see the options for changing the color and making this fit into your brand. Now, it's going to be pretty important for you to have a logo that works well on a darker background. So a lot of times a white version of your logo is going to be a great opportunity here. And what you can do is you can choose colors that match your brand, or you can click try a random gradient, and you can click through this until you find something that could work. The cool thing is they've just given you some options to make things different, engaging, happy, friendly, and we're, we're off to the races. So when we look at our overall bot flow, the bot flow is gonna be almost exactly the same as you would see with a drift link, except with the drift link, that link is going to show up on the sidebar and on a landing page, it's going to show up center mass on the screen. So if we click this link to test, you'll see that the page is going to show up 
none of the noise is going to be there and it is going to start a more zoomed in view of what that sidebar conversation would be. Now there's a couple things to note. It does take a couple seconds to load, which it would take the same amount of time to load if you didn't have other information on the sidebar. And then in addition to that, you know, there's no explanation on here. So your first question is going to have to be very descriptive about what they're going to do. And again, how you're going to drive them further into the tool. So once you've got something that you like here, you can of course go ahead and go over and publish your playbook and that link will be available. And of course you can put any UTM parameters or anything like that on it. Um, and this would be the standalone version of that chatbot playbook. But the Drift link would still work. So if you went to your website or any page that had Drift installed on it, you would be able to put in the Drift link in the URL and that same playbook flow would operate in the sidebar as you have come to expect with Drift in the first place. And you would also have this available as a landing page. So I believe you can also go into other playbooks that you've created and you can update the landing pages for each of those. It might be a great idea if you're running ads to specific pages and you could, all you have to do is go in and set the domain for the URL for the landing page and you should be off to the races. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you're interested in more videos like this, we have a 30 day conversational marketing masterclass that would be perfect for you. You can head on over to impulsecreative.com slash CM masterclass for more information. If you'd like to see other tutorials we've done, you can go ahead and you can do that right here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our tutorials, you can go ahead and you can do that right here. Until next time, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative. Have a great day.